Hey there, are you having problems with your sewing machine and not sure what's wrong with it? I'm Liz from No Trace and in this video I'm going to go over four of the most common issues with sewing machines and how to fix them. And this video is part two of a two video series covering the eight most common issues with sewing machines. So if your question isn't answered in this video, make sure you check out my other video which I'm gonna link below and also put a card up here and at the end so that you can find the solution to whatever your problem is. Okay, so problem number one is that your needle is hitting your presser foot or your throat plate, which is this bottom metal part as you sew. That means that your needle is bent. So get yourself a new needle and that problem should be fixed. It could also be that you have the wrong presser foot in place for the stitch that your machine is set to. So maybe you have a zigzag stitch setting um, in operation right now, but your presser foot can't really handle a zigzag stitch. So make sure that the stitch that you're trying to sew matches up with the presser foot that you're trying to use. The second most common problem with sewing machines is that it won't go. It's not sewing for some reason. Now this can happen for a few different reasons. One is that you are pushing on the foot pedal while the presser foot is in the up position. So you always wanna make sure that your presser foot is lowered down before you start to sew because otherwise your machine will not go. Another reason that your machine might not be going when you push on the foot pedal is because there's a big lint buildup down in here by the bottom bobbin. So all you gotta do is open up that area. Maybe you need a screwdriver or maybe you have a little tool like, like this one that came with your sewing machine. Open up that area and use a little lint brush like this to just brush the lint out of the way and that'll help your machine run again. Another reason that your machine might not be sewing when you're pushing on the um, foot pedal is that you're trying to sew through too thick of material. So some machines can't handle more than a couple of layers of a lighter weight fabric. So if that's the case, it's just not gonna go. It's just gonna kind of seize up on you. So you just need to, to reduce the number of layers of fabric that you're trying to sew through. Another reason your machine might not be sewing is because your needle is bent and it's actually hitting the presser foot or the throat plate. So if your needle is bent, you're not gonna be able to sew, but all you have to do is change your needle. And to do that, there's usually a little knob on the side of your needle that you just turn and loosen and then pull that needle out and then replace it with a new needle. Um, usually the needle has sort of a curved side and a flat side and you want that flat side usually to be facing the back of your machine and the curved side to be facing you, the sewer. Another reason your machine might not be sewing is that it's actually in bobbin winding mode. So every machine has a short post somewhere near the upper thread area where you can put a bottom bobbin, one of these guys, um, and wind it up with thread from your top bobbin, from the upper thread. Now, when your machine is set to do that, it's not gonna let you stitch down here. So if you're in a bottom bobbin winding mode, your machine won't go. So just, just take it out of that mode. Um, it, in this machine, there's a little knob that I push forward to do that. Um, and your machine probably has could have some kind of knob or button that you push on to wind up that bottom bobbin. So just make sure you take it out of that position so you can sew again. Now you'll, the other thing you're gonna wanna do to, if your machine is not going is just make sure that you're in the correct stitch. So you're probably trying to sew um, a straight stitch or maybe a zigzag stitch, but make sure that your machine is in the right stitch um, setting for whatever project you're working on and make sure that the presser foot you have will is compatible with whatever that stitch is that you're trying to sew. Okay, problem number three that's really common is that your thread keeps breaking. And if that's happening to you, there are three things to troubleshoot to try to fix it. Number one is adjust the tension. So um, your machine will have a tension dial 
my tension dial is right up here. Your tension dial might be some sort of a knob that you turn in the front of your machine. So you'll want to check on where is that tension dial and you might want to try to reduce the tension on the tension dial. The second solution to troubleshoot if your thread keeps breaking is to see what kind of thread are you using and is it compatible with the project that you're trying to sew. Maybe you're trying to sew a heavyweight project and you've selected a really um, lightweight or poor quality thread and that's why it keeps breaking. So make sure that the thread that you have is going to work with whatever you're trying to sew. And the third and last thing to check if your thread keeps breaking is that you are using the same thread in the upper bobbin, the top thread, as you're using down in your bottom bobbin. Because if you're using two different kinds of thread, that can create a problem. One thread could be stronger than the other, and that could be causing your thread to keep breaking while you're trying to sew. The fourth really common problem that I want to mention is that your thread keeps popping out of the needle as you go to sew. And this is a really simple solution. All you need to do is make sure that your needle is in the highest position when you go to thread it. So find that hand wheel on the side of your machine and just turn it towards you until the needle gets to the highest position and that's when you wanna thread your sewing machine. You wanna also make sure that your presser foot is in the up position before you go to thread your sewing machine. Now, if you watch this video and my other video on what trying to figure out what's wrong with your sewing machine and your sewing machine is still not working, I would recommend that you take it to a professional and have them take a look. Sometimes um, different parts of the machine will wear out over time and have to be replaced. I've had to replace foot pedals in the past and stuff on the inside can go wrong that you can't really fix with these um, various tips that I've given you. So if none of these work for you, take it to your local sewing machine repair person to have them take a look, but hopefully one of these does. If you have a question, I'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment below. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel so that you get notified about my new videos. I put out a new video every single week all about zero waste sewing tips and zero waste living tips. So I will see you again very soon.